Hi, welcome to another video. So, I covered Quen 3 recently, and I thought that it's good and all. But one thing that stuck out to me was a comment saying the GLM 432B model is the best coding model locally. This intrigued me because I hadn't heard much about this model. I mean, I had seen it once when it launched, but I never gave it enough time to test because when it came out, there wasn't proper support for it in VLLM or Olama, and there were no APIs that had it deployed at the time either. But this comment intrigued me, and I thought to test it out again, because I was hearing a bit of chatter about this model here and there. So, when I did the testing, in short, I was blown away. So, let's talk about this model and how good it is. Let's start from the basics. This model is by ThudEM, which is basically a collaboration between Tsinghua University and a company called ZAI. This is the same company that made Code Geeks, which was, let's say, not such a good model. I had done a video on that as well. But anyway, about 15 days back, they launched their new GLM 4 Series model, which includes a GLM 432B model and a GLM 49B model, along with GLM Z 132B and GLM Z 19B models. Now, the Z1 models are reasoning models, and the GLM 4 models are non reasoning, coding focused models. Z1 models are not as great. Quen 3 models are much better than those. So, I won't talk about that model, but the one we need to talk about is the GLM4 model, especially the 32B variant. So, this model is absolutely insane for coding. For general tasks, it's not good, and it is not made for that. But this is the first 32B model that has passed all five coding questions. Yes, it passes the five coding questions with some extremely promising generations. The butterfly looks amazing. The synth keyboard is basically amazing. The keys work, the sounds play correctly, and the hexagon questions also work amazingly well. The ball bounces off correctly and also works amazingly well. The game of life also actually works amazingly well, which is awesome. This model comes in at the top of my coding leaderboards. It's in the top four, but obviously, it's not as good as 2.5 Pro. But to be honest, it's on the level of something like Gemini 2.5 Flash. Still, it's a bit lower than that and is prone to some silly errors. But for a local model, it is still great. It's literally 32 billion and this good. You can run it on a MacBook that has about 32 gigs of memory or on an RTX 4090 and it should work amazingly well, which is really good. You can grab the weights from Hugging Face and use that, or it is also available on a llama with better tool calling, which you can also use through here. But apart from that, there are also APIs available for it. Novita has it, which costs only 24 cents per million token input and output, which is kind of awesome for the price and it is also really fast. However, there's also a free API that you can use. It's available on Open Router, but it has some limits. So, you can actually just go to the provider shown in the free API, sign up there, and then configure that wherever you want to use it, which is kind of cool. But now, let me tell you how you can use this model in something like RuCode or Klein, and use it to do some really cool stuff. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered art generator that allows you to type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. It gives you all kinds of image generation, video generation, and even 3D model generation models 
in one place, whether it be Flux, Stable Diffusion, Google's Image Gen, or VO2 Video Gen model, or even Kling, or any image or video generator model that you can think of. You can just type in your prompt for a video or image and get it generated in literal seconds. You can also generate 3D model generations with it in literal seconds as well. Not just that, it also gives you the option to do advanced AI image editing as well with their cool AI tools like an AI avatar generator, background removal, logo generator, emoji generator, YouTube thumbnail generator, or even add an app icon generator. And the best part is that it starts at only $10 and you can get an additional 25% off these already great deals by using my coupon code KING25. So make sure that you check out photogenius.ai through the link in the description and generate some cool stuff with it. Now back to the video. So I'll be mainly focusing on RuCode for this and I'll recommend it because that works the best with this model. It might be because of the system prompt and stuff, but I have seen that this works much better in RuCode. But anyway, you can just head over to the settings and create a profile with whatever name you want. Now, go ahead and select the Olama option if you are using it locally, or if you wish to use the APIs. Then just select the Open Router option and then set up the API that you want to use, like the free API or even the non-free API. Next, just get that set up accordingly, and we can now start using it. Let's start with a benchmark question that I do. This is a basic Next.js app that I have here. I'm going to ask it to build me a simple image cropper tool, as that's a good question that I generally use them for. Once we send it, you can see that it doesn't glitch, which is one of the things I like, because a lot of models glitch a lot for stuff. But this one doesn't, which is kind of cool. Anyway, it starts to read through all the sources, and in a bit, it is done. So, what happened is that it started using Shad CN in it, which is actually not pre-configured here, but for some reason, it thinks that it should be here, which doesn't make sense to me. It's probably that the training data for React got a bit merged, and it can't bifurcate between what it has available and what it doesn't, and it also can't solve this issue on its own. So, it just gets stuck. I was able to fix this by manually installing it, and it now works. This looks actually pretty good. It has some rough edges for sure, which is fine, but considering that this is a 32B model, it is actually good. I mean, none of them are even able to call tools currently and often hallucinate, and this is actually good. React is not a strong suit for it, but it can be great for simple HTML apps or even Python, which it is great at. So, there are some shortcomings, but seeing that a model of this size is able to at least come near a model of the last gen, which was quite big, is amazing. It's a really good model, and I believe that you should give this a try. It is actually really good to use, and you can run it locally, which is amazing. It's great to have on a laptop, like a MacBook Pro with 32 gigs of RAM that can run this and actually get some good results. Even if it can't do coding, it can still be great for just simple chat, debugging, and stuff like that. One thing that I found a bit more interesting is that it talks to itself. Like, it mostly starts sentences with, I need to do this and that. It's actually interesting to see. Another thing that I saw is that it is prone to talking in Chinese sometimes. So, keep that in mind. You can try to add some system prompts in order to make it better and more aware of your project to get the best results, as that is doable, and it is a good base model to fine-tune on your tasks and stuff like that. I found this model really interesting, and that's why I thought to talk about this. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.